Hi, this video tutorial I will cover thread pool in Java. In case of thread pool, group of fixed size threads are created. And in this thread pool, there are three threads are created. Suppose say there are a thousand tasks to finish. Then these three threads are responsible to finish thousand tasks. Suppose say there are five tasks to finish. Then these three threads are responsible to finish five tasks. Here you can see service provider. Service provider will pull out thread one and assign task one. Service provider will pull out thread two and assign task two. Service provider will pull out thread three and assign task three. Once thread one finishes task one, then this thread one will be written to the thread pool. And once thread one is available, service provider will pull out thread one and assign task four. And once thread three finishes task three, the thread three will be written to the thread pool. Then service provider will pull out thread three and assign task five. And once all these threads finishes the task, all these threads will be written to the pool. And only these three threads will be used again and again to finish all the task. Advantage of thread pool. Thread pool gives better performance and it saves time because there is no need to create new thread for every task. There are fixed set of threads will be there that will be reused again and again to finish all the task. In real time, thread pool is used in Servlet and JSP where container creates a thread pool to process the n number of requests. Here I have defined the class worker thread which implements runnable interface and this class override run method and provide implementation. Inside run method, I am displaying the current thread name and then it calls process message method and here thread sleeps for 2 seconds then it displays current thread name and end and it has worker thread constructor which accept message and here I am assigning the message here I have defined the class thread pool demo it has main method inside main method I am calling a new fixed thread pool method of executors class and I am passing 3. This method will create a thread pool which contains 3 threads. And in this for loop, I am creating 10 worker threads and each worker thread I am passing to execute method of executor service. And the 3 threads which are in thread pool are responsible to execute all these uh, 10 worker threads. I am running this program. And uh, here you can see the output. And here you can see in pool there are uh, three threads are created. thread 1, thread 2 and thread 3 and these three threads are responsible to finish all the 10 worker thread execution and here you can see thread 2, thread 1 and thread 3 are reused again and again to finish 10 worker threads execution. Executors class belongs to java.util.concurrent package superclass of executors class is object class using a new fixed thread pool method we can create a thread pool which contains a fixed number of threads the fixed number of threads can be reused again and again to do multiple task executor service interface belongs to java.util.concurrent package it has uh, execute method which accept uh, runnable task and uh, it has uh, shutdown method 
and uh, this is about uh, thread pool in java and uh, thanks for watching